Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to day three of our Resurrection Week uh, daily devotionals. Amen. Um, we're excited to dive into 1 Corinthians 15 today, mm-hmm. verses 1 through 19. Now, I would remind you, brothers, of the gospel I preached to you, which you received in which you stand and by which you are being saved. If you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you as of first importance, what I also received that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the 12. Then he appeared to more than 500 brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. For I am the least of the apostles, unworthy to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace toward me was not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so we preach and so you believed. Now, if Christ is proclaimed as raised from the dead, how can some of you say that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there is no resurrection of the dead, then not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is in vain and your faith is in vain. We are even found to be misrepresenting God because we testified about God that he raised Christ, whom he did not raise, whom he did not raise, if it is true that the dead are not raised. That's a bit confusing. Excuse me. (laughs) Verse 16. For if the dead are not raised, not even Christ has been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, your faith is futile and you are still in your sins. Then those also who have fallen asleep in Christ have perished. If in Christ we have hope in this life only, we are of all people most to be pitied. That's the word of the Lord. Praise be to God. Wow. He gets into it. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, he's not messing around on this whole resurrection bit. No, and he go will continue tomorrow, where he continues to talk about mm-hmm. the, this is why Christ has been raised. Exactly. Yeah, we're gonna read the remainder of this chapter in First Corinthians over the next two days. But so don't go ahead. Yeah, so don't read ahead. Don't read too much scripture. Wait till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but right here, people have people have stopped believing somewhere along the line in Corinth that Jesus was actually raised from the dead and that resurrection is really going to happen. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. What is Paul's response? It's all futile. If he didn't, (laughs) it's in vain. Like literally guys, what are we doing? Yeah. (laughs) If resurrection isn't at the center of this, it's so, so (laughs) wild. (laughs) Like open your eyes team. (laughs) <laughs> That's kind of the tone that I hear him speaking in. <laughs> totally. <laughs> He's like, dudes, honestly, la- yeah. dudes and lady dudes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> Let's be honest here. Resurrection is the center of all of this. And like a bodily resurrection. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Not just like metaphorically. I don't know. Yeah. How that would have been. Which there are people in America today who call themselves Christians who would say that Jesus's resurrection is a metaphor and that the resurrection in general is a metaphor. Yeah. And I'd ask those people to read 1 Corinthians 15. It it seems pretty clear to me that if Jesus didn't actually die and then actually raise into some new kind of life, um, then, then what is our Christian hope? This is, this is central. 
honestly, that's, that's a pretty simple message. Yeah. My guess is for most of our listeners, that's not a hard pill to swallow. That's very much like, yep, that's, that's it. I think it it is amazing how, I don't know. I wish, I wish like I'm praying right now that like my jaw is just on the floor the rest of this week hmm. because for some reason we read Christ raised from the dead. And we're like, yes, wonderful. You know, nice. And it's not like what, <laughs> you know, like I've grown up in the church. It's like, yeah, this is what happens. Like I, the story is spoiled when I start every gospel. I know what's wow. going to happen mm-hmm. and it's great, but it's like, no, he was dead, 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 dead. <laughs> and now dead. he is so alive, <laughs> super alive. <laughs> and that's not the normal order of things. Right. And I just want to be in awe of that all week long. Wow. And continuing from this week. I'm hoping this week shapes me into just that attitude when I think about the resurrection. Wow. Just gobsmacked. <laughs> Great word. <laughs> because this reality changed the way that every every person in the first generation of the church lived by an incredible margin. Yeah, we don't think about all of these people were practicing Jews. Right. And they changed everything about their lives mm-hmm. because of what happened here. And they died for what because of what happened here. Right. Like, this is so wild, so crazy, and so true, (laughs) just to say that, you know? So true. It's like everything changed because of this. Mm. The way we date things could change because of this. (laughs) (laughs) The year of our Lord. Yeah. 2024. Mm -hmm. (laughs) How will life change because of this for me? Great question. Yeah. Yeah. May I, uh, may, I, may I handle that question with some really serious fear and trembling <laughs> and unspeakable joy. And unspeakable joy, like we <laughs> talked about. It's so good. Yep. So uh, I don't want to be most to be pitied on earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. I don't want everything that I'm doing to be futile. Right. In vain. He really repeats himself a lot here. Yeah. I kind of got lost a little bit, but I get his point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that that's just the way of things in his literature. The more you repeat it, the more emphatic it is. Mm-hmm. This is extremely emphatic. And like flips it and does the inverse and backwards. Uh-huh. And obviously, no I got matter it. where you put it, Christ <laughs> raised from the dead. <laughs> and so will we when we're hidden in him. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Wow. Amen. Hmm. Wow. Well, may your day look completely different because that reality shapes everything that you say and do. I love that. That's so good. <laughs> We love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.